Welcome back to On The Beat. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today we'll be talking about peripheral neuropathy with Dr. Andy Barlow from Chiropractic Physician Center of Tupelo. Welcome back, Dr. Barlow. Hey, Rachel, thank you for having me. So good to see you again. I feel like it's been a minute since I've gotten to see you in it, person. It has been, it's been a little while. Well, good, I'm glad you could join us today. Well, thank you for having me. I wanna ask you about peripheral neuropathy. Okay. What exactly does that mean? Okay, well, when it comes to the, the nervous system, you actually have a central nervous system, which is your brain and spinal cord, and then away from that, the periphery, uh, you actually have a nervous system there as well called the peripheral nervous system. Now, when, around those nerves, we actually have a protective sheath called the myelin sheath. Mm -hmm. And when this, this sheath gets damaged, uh, it can actually slow down transmission and then patients start to get numbness and tingling and pins and needles. They can actually get cold hands and cold feet. So, and again, peripheral neuropathy can be upper, like hands and lower, but most people think of it being more in the feet, but it can be in the hands and the feet. What are some of the causes that a person would have to deal with this? Well, the, the most common, I think, where people talk about is like blood sugar dysregulation, type one, type two diabetes, because mm -hmm. that the blood sugar, when it gets too high, can actually destroy that myelin sheath uh, around the nerves. Uh, inflammation is another one. Okay. Uh, one that most people don't know that much about is gluten sensitivity. It can be devastating to your nervous system. So really? gluten that doesn't just affect your, your gut function. It can actually impact uh, your nervous system. Another very interesting one is called uh, uh, per pernicious anemia, which means it's an autoimmune disorder in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you can't get B12 from your stomach into your bloodstream. And really? if patients have that, then they don't have the, the basic building block to maintain a healthy nervous system, even brain and uh, peripheral nerves. Interesting. Yeah. Well, what if I was experiencing the numbness, the tingling in my feet? What, sh what should I do next? Well, the one thing you could do is you could, of course, you could come into our clinic and we could do a head-to-toe neurological evaluation. Mm -hmm. We would actually evaluate you. We would actually do a disability index to see how much nerve damage you have subjectively, meaning how much you say you have right. versus objectively compared to what I find on a neurological exam. And then that will also let us know the severity of the nerve damage, can we help you, and then the duration as to how long it would take to really get the optimal results for, for each person. How long would something like that take from start to finish, from coming in and okay. the, the appointment and then getting the results back? The, uh, that would be at least an hour. So okay. you would come in, we would do a, a head to toe neurological exam. We would look, uh, take x-rays of your lumbar spine. I see this would be another area. Mm -hmm. Your lumbar spine uh, at L5 can actually be damaged and that control can cause numbness and tingling in your feet as well. But typically within an hour, we can have, and we can go through a neurological exam, take x-rays and then go over a care plan and show you what we found. Oh, wow, all within an hour. Pretty much within an hour now. It's That's not great. like that with everybody, but if an hour would be pretty close. Pretty standard, yeah. pretty standard. Excellent. Well, that, that's really interesting. I think this is something, you know, you hear about gluten sensitivity. There's so many triggers for this. Yep. So I'm sure you're probably opening some people's eyes to some symptoms that maybe they didn't know were related to this. Yes, and, and well, again, it's typically it's, when you can't feel your feet, you also have problems with balance, mm -hmm. walking, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then it can actually slow down brain function. Uh, it's called your parietal lobe. Your parietal lobe is uh, what's called neurologically presynaptic to your frontal lobe. Don't mean to get too <laughs> doctor lingo here, but, right. but then what this will do is it'll actually, it'll actually slow your brain function down, causing focus, attention, and concentration just because of Interesting. Just, just because your feet aren't working properly. Oh, I can't wait to learn more about okay. this. If you want to learn more about this, all the information to get in touch with Dr. Barlow and his staff is on the screen. We'll be back after this short break.